welcome students we are going to continue today's discussion with sales day book which is a part of chapter 4 recording of transactions part 2 in the previous session we have discussed about petty cash book purchase day book and purchase return book now we are completing the discussion with sales day book and journal proper so let's start with the first topic of the day sales day book sale day book record all the credit sales of goods in trade only please remember goods in trade only all other credit sales like sale of building furniture etc they are not recorded here but in journal proper the format is the same like of purchase book but we can have a separate column of sale tax if it is mentioned in the question the first column starts with date and then invoice number name of the customer please remember in purchase book it was name of supplier now it is name of customer then the ledger folio and amount let's take few example of sales journal books of raja limited first transaction sold 20 meters cloth to ram traders at the rate of 100 per meter on 24th november 2014 with invoice number 70 now this will be recorded in the sales journal like this in the date column we will write 24th November 2014 and in the invoice column 70 then in the name of customer column we will write Ram the person to whom we are sending the goods that is the customer and in the amount column we will write 2000 rupees that is 20 meters into 100 is 2000 once again ledger folio will come when we will post this entry in the ram account after a particular time let us take another example second one sold to Radesham 10 pence at the rate of 250 per pent on 25th November with invoice number 81 now to record this first of all in date column we are going to write 25th November 2014 and then in the invoice column we will write 81 and in the name column we will write Radhe Sham, the name of the customer and in the amount column we will be writing 2500 because 10 into 250 will be 2500 so like this we can record all our entries and then arrive at the total right now for these two transactions our total will be 4500 4500 rupees only while posting from the sales book all the customer accounts are debited and number of their ledger page number will be recorded in the ledger folio column in sales book sales journal is also totaled periodically generally in a month and credited to sales account in the ledger book which is a principal book so all the cash entries from cash book and all the credit entries from sale book are transferred and credited to the sales account in the ledger let's discuss the next book sales return book sales return book record goods returned by customers may be due to goods not up to the mark or some defect etc now credit note is prepared for this sale return in this credit note there will be details regarding customer the reason of return the date and other things all these debit notes and credit notes are serially numbered and dated format is again the same 
just like sales book, but instead of invoice number, we will be having credit note number. This is the only difference. Now, while posting the sale return book, customers will be credited and sales return account debited with the totals done periodically say after 15 days or a month as the situation is. Now, let us quickly go through few entries to get an insight of this book. To start with, let us take the example that books are of Sriman Limited, following returns were made to them. The first entry in the books of Sriman Limited, Ramesh returned goods of rupees 500, wide credit note number 132 on 29th November. Now, this will be recorded as follows. In the date column, first of all we will write 29th November 2014. Next, in the credit note number column, we will write 132 and in the name column, we are going to write Ramesh, the person who has returned the goods and then in the amount column, 500 rupees and as usual ledger folio after posting in the customer account. Now, let us start with a very, very important book that is journal proper. Transactions which do not find place in the previous mentioned books like sale book, purchase book, sale return, purchase return and cash book are recorded in this book. This is also called as journal residual that is whatever entries remain residue, they come here. Now, let us see what are the type of transactions which come under this category. First, all the opening entries of assets, liabilities and capital in the beginning. These are all previous year balances which are brought forward to the current year. Second, adjustment entries like prepaid expenses, outstanding expenses, depreciation on the asset, advances received, income outstanding and all these things which are the result of accrual basis of accounting. You know this is one of the fundamental accounting exemption. Whatever is incurred for this year has to be accounted in this year maybe it has been paid, received or not. So, these are called adjustment entries which are given as adjustment in the final accounts question. Now, this we will see in the final accounts chapter. Next, rectification entries. All rectification entries find place in journal proper. Whatever rectification we do, previous wrong ones rectified now, these will find place in journal proper. Next, transfer entries like expenses and incomes are transferred to trading and PL account, drawings is transferred to capital account. All these transfer entries find a place in this book because they are not specifically book for these entries. There are some other entries which do come in this. Let us see them quickly. Dishonor of check or bill of exchange. Next, sale or purchase of asset on credit because cash sale purchase will go in cash book. Next, goods withdrawn for personal use that is drawings of goods. Next, goods used in advertisements that is selling expenses, charity etcetera, all these things find place here. Loss of goods by theft, fire etcetera and all other similar type of entries which do not find any place in the previously mentioned books will find a place here, right. Let us check what we have understood. First, when cash book is maintained, there is no need for I will give you four options, you try to find out. Please see again, when cash book is maintained, there is no need for A, purchase book, 
B petty cash book, C bank and cash account and D journal proper. Yes, there is no need for bank and cash account, the right answer is C part. Next question, double column cash book records A all cash transactions, B cash and bank transactions, C cash and discount column and D bank and discount column. Yes, the answer is B that is cash and bank entries. Next question, journal proper records only which entries? A cash transaction, B credit transaction, C adjustment entries and D all these entries. Yes, it is part C adjustment entries only because cash transactions recorded in cash book, credit transactions recorded in their respective books. So, all the adjusting entries are here. Let us see the next one, goods purchased on cash is recorded in, please see purchased on cash, purchase book, no, 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 journal proper, no, cash book, yes, because we have purchased in cash, fourth option was B and C both, of course it is wrong. Let us see the next one, total of which is posted in the purchase account. First option is purchase of furniture and building, second option purchase return, third option printing and stationery and fourth option is cash oblique credit purchase. Yes, the last one was the right one because all the cash and credit purchase will go to purchase account periodically say after 15 days or a month, whatever the situation is. Next question, credit in cash balance means, there is a balance, second it is a overdraft, C both, D none. Yes, you are wrong, it is not overdraft, it is none because I told you there can never be in credit in cash, there can be credit in bank only. Okay. Want to see one more? Yes. Ledger is A part, primary book, B part, main book, C part, secondary book and D part, none of the above. Yes, it is a main book. So, the last topic in this section is balancing the accounts. The two sides are totaled, debit and credit. Then we try to find out the difference, whether it is in debit or credit. The balance on the shorter side is written. Suppose debit is more, then balance will be on credit side, buy balance carried down, but it is a debit balance because debit was more and if the credit side is more, the balance will be on the debit side to balance carried down, but please remember this is a credit balance because credit is more than debit. So, the balance is coming on the debit side, right. These balanced accounts are taken to the balance sheet and all the revenue accounts are transferred to trading and p and account. So, to conclude today's discussion, we can say that we have learned about sales day book, sales return journal proper and balancing the accounts. In our next session, we will be starting with a very, very important practical chapter that is bank reconciliation statement. Till then you enjoy these things and let us continue in the next class. Thank you.